hello hi everyone welcome back to the channel so today in this video lecture we'll be solving this problem coin change so in this problem we are given an integer array coins which represents coins of different denominations and an integer amount which represents the total amount of money that we have what do we have to do in this problem is we have to return the fewest number of coins that we need to make up the amount that has been given to us if the amount cannot be made up by the combination of the coins then in that case we return minus one we may assume that we have infinite number of coins for each kind so that means let's say th take this example we have uh, coins of three type three types and this is the amount which we want to make we can use these coins multiple times so we can use coin number one multiple times you can use coin number two multiple times we can use coin number three multiple times but we have to make the amount equal to 11 so how can we solve this problem so to solve this problem what we have to do is we can use dynamic programming approach that we have here so what do we do so let's see how we can do that so let's say imagine a dp table or a dp array where dpi dp of i represents the minimum number of coins that we require to make up the amount equal to i right that is the dp table fine so this is zero then we have one then we have two then we have three and so on so what do we have to fill at dp of 0 at dp of 0 we would fill 0 because there is no way to make the amount equal to 0 how many ways are there to make up the amount equal to 1 how do we calculate that so what will be dp of 1 that means what are the minimum number of coins that we require to make up the amount equal to 1 this will be stored in at this position dp of 1 so how are we gonna solve this one for 1 to do so all we have to do is we have to look here in this bag of coins so we will have to look at the first coin then the second coin and then the third coin and so on so why why do we do so because so as to check whether we have the given whether we have the uh, whether we have a co combination of coins using which we can make up the combi uh, using which we can make up the amount equal to 1 so let's start iterating from left to right so we move at this coin or the position number 1 where we have a coin of amount 1 or money 1 or value 1 so what do we have to do so check what is the amount which i want to make it is 1 the amount is 1 so that means this 1 is greater than or equal to this one what does that mean it means the amount that we want to make is greater than the coin that we have here the coin is one and the amount that i that we want to make is one that means one minus one one minus one why do i subtract one this coin from this so that we would have the remaining amount so if i subtract this one from this amount we would have the remaining amount which we'll have to make the remaining amount is zero okay so dp of one is what we are looking for we, we are looking for so we have a coin of type one which is contributing to make up this amount so there is at least one way there is at least one way to make up the amount equal to one so we put one here now we move to two how many ways are there to make up the amount equal to two which will be stored here at dp of two right so how do we calculate this one so to calculate this one what we have to do is we'll traverse over this array from left to right we move over the very first position and what we have here is we have amount as two we subtract the coin of the first denomination 2 minus 1 and the remaining amount is 1 fine so what I want to make is if I know the number of ways to create 
this one then i would have i would have known the number of ways to make up the amount too because we have this one so this is one plus the remaining amount which is 2 minus 1 is 1 now i want to find the number of ways to 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 generate this amount and this is 1 and we already have the answer for this which is 1 so the answer for this would be for dp of 2 would be 1 1 as this 1 is contributing what we are saying is if i use coin number 1 2 times then i will be able to make the amount as 2 fine let's move to the next coin it is 2 subtract this 2 from the amount 2 minus 2 we are left with 0 right we are left with 0 so what does that mean that means if i know the number of ways to create 0 i would have known one more way to create to generate the amount as 2 right so the number of ways to generate 0 is 0 plus 2 minus 2 it is uh, how many ways are there to create this amount to create this 0 there are 0 ways plus there is one denomination which can be used completely to create the given amount so 1 plus 0 is going to give me 1 1 plus 1 so the total number of ways to generate the amount 2 are 2. One way is to use the coin of first type twice and the second way is to use the second coin once. Fine. In this fashion we keep on moving for every amount like, like I will move to 3 now. So I want to generate 3 using these coins. Okay. So one way is use this one three times one plus one plus one this is first way another way is use this one and use this two this is the second type is there any other way to create to make up this amount no there is no other way right uh, there is no other way to make this amount so there are two ways to make up three as well so in this fashion we keep on counting the number of ways to generate a particular amount Let's jump to the code implementation part. So let's first create an array, dp array. Or before that, let's find the size of the given array, uh, coins array. So let's find the size of the coins array. It is n coins dot size. let's move and let's create an vector dp vector of size amount and assign now fill this dp array fill this dp array with with a very large number okay now iterate over iterate over every amount starting from 1 or before that first put 0 at amount 0 so start from 1 and iterate over the coins array here i will check if i is greater than or equals to j then what we will do is we would be if i is greater than or equals to j that means we have a valid denomination which can be used to create this amount i so here what i have what i have to do is dp of i is nothing but min of dp of i the amount that we uh, already have and dp of i minus j plus 1 because this j is contributing one way right and dp of i is the number of ways that we already have so if this gives a better answer then that will be stored here otherwise uh, the dp array will stay as it is fine so in this fashion we are 
preparing the DP array. At the end, we'll have to check return if this DP of amount is equal equals to minus one. In that case, what we will do if it is equal equal to minus one, we'll return what? We'll return minus one. Okay, if it is if it is equal equal to one in nine. Then we'll return minus one. Otherwise, we'll return DP of amount. Fine. Let's see. Okay, it's got accepted. Let's try to submit it. Okay, that got accepted. So in this fashion, we solve this coin change problem. So it is one of the basic problems, medium tag problems. And it is a part of blind 75 list and that's all for this video if you like the video then hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel we'll see you soon in my next video till then take care take care bye bye